But despite the push for more diversity, there is still a big racial disparity in the classroom. Yeah, it is. I analyzed data on Ohio's 121,000 teachers and found just 4% are black. And I found the issue is even more prevalent in Cleveland area schools that are predominantly black. Biology is what? Inside Kenneth Clement Boys Leadership Academy on Cleveland's east side. Three, four, five. You'll find two teachers whose life experiences are parallel. What's your task out there? Paul Lewis and Jesse Harvey grew up on the same street. Both teach science and both of them come from a family of educators. And every day, working in an all boys K through eight school where more than 90% of the students are black, their core lesson plan goes well beyond reading, writing, and arithmetic. The push I have here is, hey, you guys gonna be heads of households. You guys should be leaders. So, and I mean, it's a certain type of character you need to have. It's a certain way you need to conduct yourselves. They're addressed as young men. Uh, we are Kenneth Clement Boys Leadership Academy. So we do want them to become leaders. Lewis and Harvey say at Kenneth Clement, it matters that 53% of the teachers are black. They can visualize themselves actually pushing through and achieving and being successful. But the person at the front of the classroom doesn't always reflect the student body in Northeast Ohio. Only 24% of Cleveland Metro School teachers are black. Black male educators, just 4%. In suburban districts like Cleveland Heights and Bedford with predominantly black student bodies, only 3% of teachers are black men. Garfield and Akron, just 2%. Teachers say representation is imperative because the students can see themselves in the teachers. And you can relate to them because you were them at one point. We're 100% relatable to each other. I know exactly what their story is. They know exactly what my story is. So it, it eliminates the barrier of education. Representation also yields results. A 2017 Johns Hopkins study found low income black male students paired with a black teacher in elementary school were 39% less likely to drop out of high school. A 2015 Western Washington University researcher found that black student behavior is better and probability of suspension decreases when they're paired with a black teacher. Derek Holyfield is the principal at Kenneth Clement. The only way to truly understand that experience is to live it. And so only black males can teach black males about what it's like to be a black male in the United States. Now, district leaders, they aren't blind to this issue. That's where Bruce Ransom and Black Men Teach Cleveland comes in. Just last month, they rolled out this campaign. BMT, black BMT. Men, black men. Encouraging more black men to dive into K through 12 education. Not just the Cleveland Metropolitan Schools. We're going to be working with Richmond Heights, Bedford Heights, Warrensville Heights, all the districts in Northeastern Ohio. Ransom says Black Men Teach Cleveland is pursuing a grassroots effort to attract students to education at an early age. Our first outreach is for young men. And further down the road, we'll be talking to people going into different communities careers that would transition to education. Sometimes you have to visualize your goals before you achieve them, just like Lewis and Harvey did. Their goal now is to be that same vision for their students so they can become teachers, leaders, and role models too. I can tell you this is such an important topic. I had one black male uh, teacher from K through 12. It mm. was in the seventh grade, Mr. Ford. He made such a difference in my life. Mm. If you have an interest in education, we have content info for Black Men Teach Cleveland. It's on our website, news5cleveland.com.